Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the session that we were talking for quite a long time. Here is the first session on SCADA training. We will talk on SCADA system information flow from field instrument to the control room today. My name is Noman and I am doing this training sessions for quite a long time. I'm 35 professional SCADA expert in two or different companies from different, like one, two companies from China, one company from Turkey. And today I'm the presenter, trainer, to train you about SCADA systems. What is SCADA actually? SCADA stand for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System. SCADA is a process by which you are getting real-time information from remote location that are based in maybe different power plants, chemical industries, oil and gas sector, and you are gathering that information from these locations. And then you are analyzing that information by, you know, SCADA system, and then you are controlling it. Actually, SCADA is just like one computer. That is industrial computer, and that's monitor and control the processes. SCADA is actually a combination of telemetry and data acquisition systems. And now you might be thinking, what is telemetry and what is data acquisition system? Don't worry, it's coming soon here in this upcoming slide. So first thing first, what is SCADA? SCADA is combination of telemetry and data acquisition system. It First of all, it collects information from different process parameters like temperature, level, flow, that are part of any process. Then it is transferring it back to the central site and how it is transferring and what is its steps, we will talk about that. Don't worry about that. Carrying out necessary analysis and control, it's uh, all information when you're getting it. It will analyze that information and you require to control something based on that, based on information that you're receiving from the field, then it's going to do the control activity also. Not only that, there are operators sitting there in the control room of SCADA. They are visualizing everything, like what is the temperature at our plant? What is the pressure at our plant? What is the low level uh, at our plant? So these all information he can visualize on the screen. Not only that, there are some alarms you can see and you can realize and you can warn from according to that. Here we go. As we promised, we will make this thing very simple for you. So we have at the field level, field level mean any process industry, chemical, oil and gas, any industry power plant, we might have different instruments there. Now the question come in your mind maybe, what is instrument and why we need to have instrument? Before going to that, I will talk about that. I will just play one video, just try to watch. This is video from the YouTube. And here we go, we are gonna play that. This is very important video to be posted here and to be discussed here. That's why I'm, I was playing that. So you think of harm and brain, that's actually the main key, that's a very important thing. That's penalizing everything, that is something that's doing every bit of our actions, that's doing everything that's required. So like actions are generated by the brain and the brain is the main thing that's doing everything. So same like that, we, we put controllers in the process industry. They are acting like a brain in the process industry. And we do have as a home and body different senses by nature like we can feel and we can when we touch something we feel that for example in the case if you're touching a fire you will feel it and the brain will give you a signal like okay man this is not the right place to touch in there and you're gonna definitely remove your hand from the fire so but in the case of process industry your sensors are to be placed there same like home and do you have sensor we put a sensor there that acting as eye on the process like home and i you see like for example if you're driving on the road 
you are making actions based on what you realize, what you see in front of you, in front, for sure. Like if you do have a traffic too much, you need to stop in there. If you have traffic signals, right, you do not need to cross the road at that time. You don't need to run a car at that time. So everything here is visualized. First by eye and then brain make an action on that. But I own the process is instrument. So don't worry if in the case somebody talk about instruments, it's just one device that sends it. And then based on, then we, we do have standard signal. I'm not gonna go in detail about in this course, like what are the standard signals that we pass through? Maybe because the course content here is about scare. So sensing is, something that we need to do at first stage. Like what is the pressure, what is the level, what is temperature. Once we are done with that, then that time we can move forward to analyze that information. Then you might need to have a controller like a we do have brain here. So that controller can be a PLC, that can be a DCS, and believe me, the PLC is just like a brain. It's getting information from the process industry, a level to pressure, pressure, flow, anything from the process industry. And then it's analyze it. Whatever the, now the brain is something that was created by the, by the God itself. So, but the programming you need to do in the PLC to make the logic in there, like if this is temperature, you need to have this action. If this is pressure, you need to have this action. So the PLC is like a brain, brain here so that's the point i need to discuss here then we need to have like if you need to talk to the file like for example any process then we need to have a transmitter there and man when you are putting signals from the field you need to put a marshalling panel there what is the requirement for the marshalling panel? The signal that is coming from the transmitters are normally in 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 10 more. These are standard signals. And when it comes to your TV terminal board, then you need to have a fuse production there. That's why before passing towards the input module of the PLC or DCS, you need to have a terminal blocks there we need to have a Marshall panel there. That's the one way to connect to your, uh, that's acting as in between thing between your, your transmitter thing and your IO module, input module, sorry. So when you are getting the data, first the data is coming here on marshalling panel to fuse protector. And the thing that we are getting advantage here, like, in the case of any short circuit, what's going to happen here, maximum that fuse is going to burn and that will isolate your system. Your PLC is saved, your IM module is saved, and you are saved there. Your process is saved. You can easily, you know, get back to the same level. So this marginal panel is just a series of terminal blocks put in there and the purpose of that one is to isolate it. It's it's acting as a barrier between there. So now the signal will go to the PLC uh, input module. And input module, why we need input module, I will talk about that. Input module needed because the signal that coming from the feed is in, like I told you, 4 to 20 million pair in the case of analog signal. Like if it is temperature, pressure, level, then it might be like that. So if, if it is digital signal, it would be zero R24 volt, yes or no. But the now signal is coming towards the margin cabinet and then passing to the input module. Why we need to have an input module? Listen, your PLC only understand digital stuff, zeros and ones, to have any concern about four to 20 minutes or electrical signals. So that signals need to be need to be converted into the you know digital and that main purpose of input module is analog to digital conversion so that's my, my main purpose to talk about what that was actually these low level pressure temperature how they're coming 
through PIN system to the PLC itself. Now, why we need to have a SCADA system? We do have a PLC in DCS already there. The purpose of the SCADA system is like PLC and DC are well enough good to take care about the jobs for the factory centered environment, for the process industry, within the process industry, it's well and fine. It will work very good. But when you talk about moving that information out of your boundaries of the power plant, out of the boundaries of the oil and gas plant, then you might need to think of something else because this system, PLC and DC, is not going to work there. So for that purpose, there comes an in-picture SCADA system. As I told you, SCADA system is data acquisition system, supervisory control and data acquisition system. It consists of telemetry, it consists of data acquisition. What is data acquisition? Data acquisition is nothing just acquiring the data from the field instruments there. So we do have acquiring of the data domain here. So now the thing is, once we have a PLC and DCS, why we need a scanner? I talk to you, like if we need to move outside, uh, for example, we do have uh, one plant in one city, one plant in another city, and one plant in another city. We need to have one central control room for these three plants that are located in different cities. So that's the time we need to have a scatter system. That's the time we need to think about the scatter system. So SCADA system is going to give you a remote access of your all signals. And now you need to do communication. That's something and you need to have connectivity between the sites and that rocket science. And I will say science simple that's involved in there is telemetry system. The connectivity of different sites by any means is, is a part of telemetry. And what is in picture you are seeing here, or RTU here. RTU is a remote terminal unit, and don't think of something very big in your mind. Don't confuse yourself, it's just a very simple thing. RTU is like a mini PLC, getting information. It can be two types of RTU, one is intelligent, one is non-intelligent. Intelligent RTU is like mini PLC that can control something, that have a, you can build a logic in there, you can give a program and it can execute the, something based on that and you it can do control some processes also. But when we talk about hard view that's null intelligence, just getting information, just getting the tags in there and passing it to you know any communication network to the any remote other side to be visualized. So remote terminal unit is just mini VLC that gathers the information from the different side like we see here the data we are getting it from the PLC and DC is a common here to RDU and to communication network. Now here there's big signs, what are the possibilities we do have? So we will talk about in detail about that. So let's move a little forward here. Telemetry. It is technique used to transmit and receive the information or data over any medium. Medium can be a cable, telephone, or radio. In our case, we do have radio. And information can be from one location or multiple locations. In our case, we do have three sites of so multiple locations. Data acquisition record is a method used to access and control information or data from equipment being controlled or monitored. Like for example, we are getting the data from here, from uh, like pressure level, temperature, these are all data we are getting it. So the way we are getting it from the PLC and then PLC is getting it to the towards the RTU, this is all data acquisition. You are acquiring the data. You are getting the values of level, pressure, temperature, flow, and anything else that is there. So it can be control actions also, actuator, relays, walls, motor, etc. So hopefully you get my point. Now you do have RTU. RTU is a controller located at the remote side, gather the data from the field devices, like anything process from the process, okay, level, temperature, flow, pumps, walls, alarms, in in memory until MTU initiate a command. RDU on now what is MTU? Don't worry about that. We are going to talk about that. RDU gathers all information from the field instrument are sent to the control room and field instrument to be controlled to the control room via transceiver, yeah, remote radio or VHF communication. I told you like we do have multiple options. We are going to talk about 
what are the different options and we need to connect to different sites in detail. It is used to gather the data from the equipment and transfer the transfer it to central systems. These things are all the same. The main purpose just think of when you think of RTU is it's just gathering device, gathering the information from the site, gathering the signals like temperature, pressure level, flow, anything from the site. So there are small computerized units deployed in the field at specific site and location. RTUs serves as a local collection point for the gathering reports from the sensors and delivering command to the control relays. Also, this thing is very simple up to now. We're going to talk about the rest of the things in next session up to now. If you do have any question, you can ask. The way will be throughout this session, you are going to put your questions on the comment in there in this video that's released. And in next video, we will have uh, one video just to answer your questions. So, or if you have questions, come here and don't forget to comment here. If you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel, it's a golden time to subscribe because journey is yet started. It's not ended at the moment. A lot to go, a lot to be discussed in this training sessions, and we have to accomplish a lot during that series of the training, and you are going to definitely enjoy this training. We will move forward to different bytes in next session. What are the different possibilities to connect to different sites? Like what is actually in-depth understanding of telemetry system? What is MTU? Why need a modem? And in the, in the SCADA master room, what are the different units? What are the different components that are there? To get in these all information, you need to subscribe our YouTube channel because the videos are going to be posted every week. So all you have to do is just share this message, do like, and don't forget to subscribe this channel. With that message, I would say for this session, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.